at the bottom of the slide, this woman squatted down and grabbed my daughter. That woman, Bailey Brigham, accused of attempted kidnapping at Cooch Park last month, and here she is in court for an arraignment today. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. For KT News at 6, I'm Deborah Nath. And I'm Rick Aswood. Today, the judge set bail for Brigham at $7,500. She is out of jail now. There are several restrictions regarding her release. Prosecutors and the victim's family think she might run away. Brigham allegedly grabbed a seven-year-old girl playing in the park. The girl's father said this happened after he noticed Brigham was at the playground naked from the waist down. He was calling police to get help for that. K2's Joe English is live at Cooch Park tonight, and a lot of people are concerned Brigham has been trying to get help but hasn't had the success she needs. Yeah, and this is the slide where her dad, the victim's dad, says this all happened. Now, in the courtroom today, nobody was really deny, denying that Bailey Brigham has issues with drugs and with mental health as well. Her family says she really is another example of somebody who has fallen through the cracks. And the victim's family, well, they say they understand that, but still think that Brigham could be dangerous to have out in the public. Prosecutors say Bailey Brigham is no stranger to the court system with prior arrests and plenty of no-shows in court. It's part of why the parents of the seven-year-old girl Brigham is charged with trying to kidnap think the best idea is to keep her locked up until her trial. Mrs. Brigham has multiple cases pending. Based on the arrests since the attempted kidnapping, it is clear that each time she is released into the community, she is unable to prevent herself from reoffending. Bailey got out on bail Friday, her father and stepmother in court to help her out. They say she's been in and out of treatment centers for a number of reasons. Cost, insurance, space available, that and more. We were in the process of trying to get her into inpatient health, um, recognizing you know, her, her uh, delusional um, uh, capacity right now. While Brigham is out of jail, the judge said she cannot have any contact with the alleged victim's family, even go within 100 feet of them. Well, what the court needs to analyze is what is the likelihood that she will return to court under her own power? What is the least restrictive means that the court has at its disposal to make that happen? Brigham also can't go to Cooch Park and has to do pre-trial check-ins. Obviously, this is a serious matter, but I think Ms. Brigham is in a unique place where she has the family support that is needed to get the services and help that she needs. It sounds like they are doing literally everything in their capacity to both keep her safe, keep the public safe, and make sure she gets that help that she's needed. Well, an interesting note from the prosecutor. While the court can order Brigham to stay out of Cooch Park, under Oregon uh, law, they can't keep her out of any other parks in the state. In Northwest Portland, Joe English, K2 News. Joe, thanks for that.